Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 26th of 2022. Well, it is titled All the Water on Planet Earth. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of our own Earth. And you can recognize the familiar shapes of the continents. And what is missing on it is the water. So if we take all of the water off planet Earth, this is what we would see. And we can see the continental land masses of North and South America towards the left. And we can see Europe and Africa over on the right hand side. Now, to compare the amount of water, we see that large sphere over the United States would be all of the water in on and above Earth. That means all of the water in the oceans, in lakes and rivers, in the polar caps, every place that includes all water on Earth. If we condense it all together, that is about how big it would be a sphere that large. And we get an idea that even though we call ourselves the water planet, we really are not. While three quarters of our surface may be covered in water, the amount of water relative to the size of Earth is actually incredibly small. And that most of our planet is simply a dry rock and metal with a little bit of water, just a tiny bit on top. Now you can also see two smaller spheres there to compare the largest one again the large one was all water including the salt water in the oceans. The next one over to the right of that is the fresh water in liquid form. And then finally the tiniest one down there includes all of the fresh water lakes and rivers in the world. So it really does kind of put into perspective that we are not a water world, even though we seem like it on the surface that there are that the waters in the oceans only fill several miles and the earth itself goes down thousands of miles. So in reality, it's just that little layer on the top, like peeling off the skin of an apple that has the that is where all the water is. And when you get down below, there is no water. Now this is to contrast to other objects in the solar system, especially in the outer part of the solar system, which have far more water than we have here on Earth. So many of the large moons in the outer solar system are made primarily of water and have a lot of water ice in them. And even in many cases, liquid salt water there. So we can find many places out elsewhere in the solar system that have a lot more water than we have here on Earth. Here on Earth, it is really just confined to the surface and the amount of fresh water is a very tiny amount. So that was our picture of the day for September 26th of 2022. It was titled All the Water on Planet Earth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.